So last week I ended up receiving a delivery which I ordered from Metabox, they're called, which they do come under a few different names depending on what country that you're from. But over here in Australia, it is Metabox. This one here is a Metabox Alpha N850HJ, and this particular one is the i5 model. And for the price that I paid for it, I'm pretty darn happy with the overall specs of it. It's got a i5 7300HQ, 8 gig of DDR4 RAM, a 1080 resolution 60 hertz screen, which is a matte finish, an Intel wireless uh, 3168 wireless AC. It doesn't have an operating system and I specifically purchased it without an hard drive inside of it or OS. Overall cost wise I think delivered to me was on special it was around I think it was 825 Australian dollars which is yeah, a very nice price. Inside the box here we've got the usual software, manual, charger. The charger I do find a bit a bit of a beefcake one. This one's 19.5 volt at 6.15 amp or 120 watts which for the size of it's quite slim. I'm used to them being much larger and much heavier but overall it's pretty darn pretty darn good. Another thing I did like about this, it also came with a two-year warranty as standard Essentially, I need to post it off back to Metabox over on the other side of Australia in Perth, but I definitely can't complain about that. In the next couple of weeks, I will do a full review of this machine, or a bit, a bit more of the thoughts, likes, dislikes, but at the moment, this is just mainly the installation of the OS, the hard drive. didn't realise when ordering it was the amount of I.O. on the sides. Fast uh, gigabit, two display ports, HDMI, Type-C and USB 3, which is definitely good. Around on the other side, just a USB 3 and a single USB 2 and a couple of mic and headphone jacks. One thing that did slightly disappoint me with this one was the overall build of it. Yes, it's a cheap machine, but I was hoping underneath there'd just be a single panel that could be removed quite easily with, let's say, three or four screws, similar to my previous Metabox. But as with all technology, it all seems to go the same way, so this has around about ten screws in the base. Take them all out, and from there you can get into it, which you'll soon see as... I'm going to go ahead and install my NVMe SSD and get it installed and go from there.
So a quick little overview of the actual whole mainboard. One thing I'm definitely happy with is the two separate heat pipes. Where my previous machine had the graphics GPU and CPU combined. Where I do like it how it's in this, this style where it's two separate cooling systems. 